All right, time for Burke Sports. All right, here's Neil Jafu with our Burke Sports tonight. Neil? Hi, guys. Well, there is room at the top for the new Berks County baseball champion. For the first time since 2007, Governor Mifflin will not repeat his champs. Instead, it will be either Twin Valley, who beat the Mustangs, or Conrad Weiser. And in case you haven't noticed, the scouts are on an absolute tear. They have won 15 straight games, dating all the way back to April the 10th. Now they're preparing for their biggest game yet, a chance at a Berks championship. For the first time since, get this, 1962. It's definitely big for this school. I mean, we haven't been there in forever. I mean, it's really been a tough tradition. I know last time they were there, my grandfather was actually a coach, so it was really personal for me to get back there. The staff's excited. Uh, I know our, our players right now in, in there where we're hitting are, are very excited for tomorrow. They're, they're wishing it was tonight, but uh, we'll, we'll relax them here a little bit, and uh, we'll come inside this gym, and we'll do some things, and uh, we'll be ready to play tomorrow night. I think everyone's excited for tomorrow night at First Energy Stadium. Weiser will take on Twin Valley, who beat the two-time defending Burks champion Governor Mifflin 11-10 last night in eight innings. The finals are set for 6:05 Wednesday night at First Energy Stadium. Meantime, softball Burks County finals are postponed thanks to Mother Nature. They were supposed to play at Lions this evening. Muhlenberg and Hamburg will now have to wait a day to find out who are the queens of the diamond. The championship will be played tomorrow evening, same time, same place. That's at Lions at 6.30 p.m. Well, the r Phils are back to work after their first day off in the month of May. Reading is coming off a 3-1 series win over Akron this weekend. The r Phils heading to Harrisburg for a date with the Senators this evening. And the r Phils beginning a three-game set in Harrisburg to close their current road trip while they look for better results against their interstate rivals. But the Senators, well, they have the Reading Phillies number. They have swept Reading in both previous meetings. Reading is 0-6 against Harrisburg. First pitch scheduled tonight for 7 p.m. And that is, of course, pending Mother Nature. The Flyers are back to work tonight, hosting Game 2 of the Eastern Conference Finals against the Montreal Canadiens. The Flyers can only hope Game 2 goes as well as Game 1, which happened to be a 6-0 route of Philadelphia, of Montreal, rather. Philadelphia has now won five straight playoff games for the first time since 1995. A win tonight, and the Flyers will take a 2-0 series north, heading back to Montreal. And... Not so good news for Express, Pan Express fans. For the better part of four years, Bernie Nortowski has been serving as a fixture in the Sovereign Center as head coach and general manager of the Reading Express indoor football team. From now on, there will be a new coach calling out plays in Reading. As of this morning, Nortowski is no longer with the organization that he helped win an AIFA championship just one season ago in 2009. The Express are disappointing 5-5 five and five on the season with just four games left to play. Assistant head coach Chris Thompson will serve as the interim head coach for the remainder of this season, while owner Ted Lavender will take over general manager duties. According to Lavender, the split was a mutual agreement, but also a chance for the Express to take their franchise to the next level. Being a general manager and head coach is very difficult to handle. Uh, one of them is going to suffer one way or the other. And as you can see, the season we're five and five, not quite doing as well as what we were last year after winning the championship. And uh, we just felt mutually it'd be best if uh, you know we separate. All right, a mutual separation. Unfortunately, we did not get a chance to speak with Bernie Nortowski this afternoon. Hopefully, we'll be able to catch up with him sometime soon. Robin Wendy, back to you. All right, thanks, Neil. Thanks, Neil. Finally, at 5:30, voters aren't the only ones with tough choices today.